Today's math strategy video is on dividing whole numbers. So what we're going to look at today is we're going to talk about using an area model to divide. And so you should be familiar with the area model to multiply either with one digit, two digit, and then you will do multi digits um, when you get to fifth grade digits with more than two. So what we're going to look at is an area model. Now, in the previous video, we talked about like using a bar model to be able to kind of multiply up. So we're going to do something very similar to that today. So we're going to divide 2,125 by 4. So what this is going to look like is, oh, if, let me try to make this just a little bit neater if I can. Okay, and so I'm going to start off with my four out here, which is my divisor, and then I'm going to put my dividend inside. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is, well, just like I did in the last video, I'm going to like already like write down some facts that I already know that are going to help me. And I always use my thousands, my hundreds. And my tens because if I don't know anything else I do know these and what's so great about this strategy is that you don't have to be exact you can just subtract through and you will end up getting to your answer so when I look at these I'm gonna use this as a jumping off point so right here I can already see that four times 1,000 is 4,000 it's too it's too, that's too much. I don't even have that many of uh, in my hole. So what I'm going to use is four times 100. Now, four times one, I can do that. But what I'm going to think about is maybe if I can just double 400, that gives me 800. So that'd probably be just a little bit easier here. And I can just say four times 200 is 800. And then I'm going to subtract. And then 21 minus 8 is going to give me 13. Okay, so now I'm just going to do this exact same thing. I'm going to bring this up here. And I'm just going to multiply by 200 again because I already know this fact. So why not use it? And then I'm going to subtract. Now 13 minus 8, what is that? 5. Um, that's correct. Okay, I'm going to bring my 525 up here. Okay, now I'm not going to do 200 because that's going to be 800 and that's too much. So I'm going to go back over here. 4 times 100 is 400. 2, 1, and that's 125. Now, I'm going to need to kind of erase these over here, but I got them in the back of my mind. I extend this 125 now mm, here here's the thing if if you're not sure do you know your tens and that gives you 40 okay so if anything I can just say plus 10 and do 40 and subtract 12 that's 85 so I'm gonna put 85 up here I'm gonna do another 10 And I get 45. I'm going to do another 10. And all I'm doing is I'm just subtracting from the facts that I already know. Oh, that's not 85. Sorry, that's 45. We would definitely have gotten um, a number we didn't want. So 45 um, times 10, that's 40. I subtract that. And I have a remain. Oh, nope. Four can divide into five. So four times one is four with a one, a remainder one. So now I just need to add up all of my quotients that I have here. So um, I'm going to take 200, the other 200, and I'm going to check mark these off as I get them. 100, um, a 10, another 10 and another 10 and a one add them together so that's one and then one two three 
and then five. 531 remainder one. That's my final answer, and that is how you use the area model. Just remember that you need to start with the facts that you do know, so multiply your divisor by 1,000, 100, and then 10. That is the end of today's math strategy video.